Hi, my name is Tom. I'm Jonathan. I'm Max. And I'm Max too. And we study at the British School in the Netherlands. Our project was about a die by filer pendulum, which is two by filer pendula connected by inextensible wooden rods. We used this structure to model the section of a suspension bridge, investigating two things. Firstly, how the number and position of filaments affected the time period of both horizontal and rotational motion. And secondly, how the positioning of the connecting rods affected the maximum stress that the structure could undergo before fracturing. In order to do this, we created two models in the DT labs using raw materials which had the same mass. The first part of our experiment modelled the sway of a bridge in the wind, where we recorded the time taken for seven complete oscillations, five times for each arrangement. For the horizontal motion, we found that the more strings we added, the shorter the time period became. The positions of the strings had little effect. This is explained by the extra strings limiting the arc length travelled through the tension pulling the pendulum. For the rotational motion, we found the opposite. The time period depended almost entirely on the position of the filaments. We measured the time for five complete rotations from a vertical pole that remained in the same place throughout, then calculated an average time period from this. There were two distinct sets of data, with arrangements that had filaments in the outermost of five holes having a time period of over 0.2 seconds faster than those that did not. To further this investigation and try to explain these results, we would need to measure the displacement and tangential velocity of the outer point of the structure. This would allow us to determine whether the outermost strength stabilised the model or actually increased its rotational speed. The second part of our experiment involved adding masses uniformly onto the structure to find their fracturing points, ensuring the uniformity through the use of a flat piece of plywood. Initially, we added masses summing to 20 kilograms. This produced no apparent effect, so we decided to individually stand on them. Our individual weights were capable of providing the fracture stress necessary. However, the combined weights of Tom and Max were just enough to break the structure. We found that the straight model broke under less stress than the cross-beamed one, what we had predicted beforehand. We enjoyed ourselves, for the most part, and found the experience educational and practical for our futures. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.